Pisces, welcome. Welcome to Majestic Notion. Welcome back. Um, thank you guys for coming back and being here. This is going to be a love and passion reading. It's all about your sexual chemistry, your passion, your love connection with the one you're with, the one you want to be with, the one you love, the one you're separated from. Whether they're in a karmic situation or you're in a karmic situation, we're going to get into it all today, okay? So for those of you who do not like talking about sex, sexual content, explicit images, because I will be diving into the sexual magic tarot, um, this is not for you, okay? So if that makes you uncomfortable and you don't like it and you think it's the devil's work, um, you might as well not watch it, okay? This is going to be for today. Obviously, you're a little late, I know. Um, but these readings have been very long and extensive. Again, um, you know, sometimes I try to keep them short, but Spirit has been really digging deep. Okay, they have not made it easy for me, so bear with me through this um, challenge here as I interpret this tarot before you, okay? Um, and this is going to be for today, April 19th to the middle of May. But remember that energy is fluid, okay? So this is the energy that surrounds you at this time. Now, Pisces, this is a general reading, so not every Pisces will resonate. If you find yourself confused or not resonating with, you know, with this reading, that means I am not picking up at your, in your, you know, on your energy at this time. So come back and watch another reading or pick another sign that is in your chart okay this is for Pisces Sun Moon rising Venus or Jupiter all right and if you have any kiddos next to you I would send them off to the other room or I would watch this later this is 18 and up content so those of you who are not 18 and up please click off we're gonna have fun with it today okay because you know we can't be serious all the time okay we gotta have fun with it too so I'm having fun with all my zodiacs this time around okay because I feel we need it there's enough serious things going on in the world with being cooped up and in hermit mode because of quarantine and COVID-19 and all of that so let's spice things up today okay let's jump right in and again thank you guys for your like shares and subscriptions and your generous um, donations I really do appreciate that thank you so very much especially around this time so thank you and let's begin let's see what you got for me Pisces now we're gonna focus on the masculine energy on this side feminine energy on that side and mutual energies in between all right you're gonna flip it out resonates for you because we both embody both masculine female and feminine excuse me I keep saying female feminine energies so flip it out resonates yes this could be for both male male female female or male female so it's at the end of the day it's about the storyline not the gender okay so let us begin Pisces let us begin I have called my spirit team in and they surround me at this time let's see what they got for you Pisces two more shuffles my guys two more shuffles one more all right let's see let's get into this masculine energy male or female okay and see what's going on you deserve love Pisces you are lovable or the other person both of you I'm sure okay we do have Cupid's arrow so somebody here could be working on their confidence their self-love self-worth so they can come to you okay so I feel like somebody has their eye on you all right let's see what the mutual energies is like romantic feelings yeah your feelings are war are real and worth exploring all right so you this is mutual energy but it can also be that someone is has a crush on you okay or has been watching you from a distance whether it's someone you know or someone new I always say that because you got to keep that open and we'll figure out what it is as we go through it also spirit likes to bring up any energies that are still attached to you at this time energetically spiritually okay so that might pop up okay um but also anything new or anyone you're separated from that you're meant to come back together with okay 
So we're going to see. This is mutual energy, so you could both be feeling each other, or this is what's going to happen, okay? There's romantic feelings in between here. So let's see where the feminine energy is at. Calling in your soulmate. There you go. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I feel like the call of the soulmate has been made for some time, I feel here. Now, are we ready? Is the question, Pisces. Are we ready? Okay. Because I feel like something's coming together beautifully here. Alright. Meant to be. Okay. Soulmate energy. So, I feel the angels are helping you guys get closer together. Alright. Very romantic uh, spiritual connection here. So, let's go to the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Like I said, love yourself first. So, someone here is definitely... Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Can't make the shit up, Pisces. So definitely, I mean, you both could have went through that energy, but I feel like that's what somebody's working on right now. It's that self-love, that confidence to come towards someone they really like, which could be you, Pisces, or the other way around. Now, let's get into the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle deck and clarify this masculine energy with You Deserve Love. Let's see. What's going on here? Let's get a little deeper. Two more shuffles, my guys. One more. Alright. Let's cut the deck. Okay. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. So, what this is telling me is that someone here, like I said, focusing on self-love, self-worth, but I feel like they're in a codependent connection, or that's the connection they were in, but it was obviously served as a mirror, a reflection as to something they had to heal within themselves, okay? So, they felt a little less than, less than, and they're working on that, okay? We're going to see how far this goes, though, all right? before I speak on anything else. So let's talk about the mutual energies. Yeah, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So we got romantic feelings with separation. Now again, like I said, someone could be leaving someone behind because you two have feelings for one another. And it's a soul connection, a soul tie that is in your energy field and could be, you know, coming together in the future here. For some of you, you are separated, okay, because somebody had codependent tendencies here. So let's keep it moving. Let's talk about this calling in your soulmate. You could be calling in a different type of soulmate now if you raise your vibration as well. Yeah, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So definitely there's some major major heartbreak and 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 breakup here okay so a lot of healing here a lot of self-worth definitely the mirror effect okay we needed to heal something but there's strong feelings here there is a soulmate here okay so i feel you you guys were meant to come together for a reason and that is to put you on a more spiritual path on your healing path to a better higher vibrational love so we're going to see, are you both healing or will you go your separate ways, Pisces, and meet someone else? Let's see. Okay. Yep. Karmic relationship. Fle fleeting triggers turmoil. Resentment lessens. Letting go and loving you. Can't make this shit up. Definitely. So someone here could be breaking up with a karmic as well. Okay. So either you're in this situation or this is the situation that the other person is in. But again, there are romantic feelings here. So whether that's towards you or the, you know, I don't think definitely it's with the person they're with. So this can get a little dicey. So follow along here, okay? Because there might be other energies trying to trickle in here, okay? Bear with me as I sort through this. Like I said, spirit does not make it easy on me, all right? Let's get into the sexual magic tarot, and I just split it on the magician, so definitely there could be a manifestation of something new here 
the magician will call in your soulmate that is as above so below as within so without right we must embody that of which we seek okay so let's continue four shuffles my guys for the masculine energy two more shuffles I can get these cards right. One more. Or Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. Okay, that's where they want it. Seven of Swords. Mm hmm. That do not look like happiness to me. Okay, I feel like Seven of Swords. Is because someone has feelings for someone else. That is the deception here. Okay. The truth is lying right there. But they haven't picked it up and said anything. At least from what I see right now. So this person is still healing here. Okay. She's over there looking at this coin. So I don't know what's going on here. Okay. We're going to find out. Could be with a gold digger. Okay. Or this is a cheater in your past. We're going to see. Okay. That is air energy. The wheel of fortune. Yeah. Someone someone's ready to get out of these karmic situations they keep falling in. Okay? So someone's definitely lo learning a lot. It's like it's time to turn the wheel. So the the uh, the hands of time here changing, okay? The winds of change. This is fixed energy. Once this wheel turns, it is fixed energy. So there is a breakup here. If it hasn't happened, it's coming. Why? Because somebody don't want to be here anymore. It's a codependent connection that somebody wants to really escape. Okay. But it was meant to teach them something. All right. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus. But I said that, didn't I? Or Leo. All right, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. All right, I feel like that's what's coming. The wheel of fortune, Jupiter is it is Jupiter energy, and it's it's the uh, wheel of luck. Okay, so wish fulfillment by Jupiter granting this person wish fulfillment. Let's see what this is. The King of Wands. So somebody definitely wants wish fulfillment with a soulmate here with someone else. I mean, you see how he's coming towards this person. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo. This person could have a lot of light. Both of you could um, embody a lot of light together. This could be a very awakened connection. Okay, a lot of passion. Alright, somebody definitely wants to hold you, to be in your arms. They want that connection. They want to feel that warmth of the sun and the passion. You know, I like it. I like it. You know, they're in a bad relationship. But things are about to end, or they already did, because we have breakup and separation. Okay? The axe. It's time to axe. Four swords, yeah. Doing some healing, resting. Okay? I feel like the connection between um, this karmic connection that they're in, if there's somebody here in a karmic situation, which I do feel for some of you, um, it's kind of awkward here, okay? I don't know what's going on here. But they're healing. They could be thinking about you, you know, wanting to talk to you. Maybe they want to hear something from you. We have another sword here, four swords. Okay, they have something to say. You guys might just do it outdoors, just saying. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to even get to the room. I feel a lot of passion coming here. Okay. Now let's go into the fe feminine, okay, energy. I was going to say it again. Feminine energy and see what's going on here. We got calling in your soulmate, heartbroken. Two more shuffles, my guys, and deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, bleeding, lost, grieving morning one more shuffle what's going on Pisces 
Let's see if we can get some happiness in here. All right. Okay, so we've moved on from heartbreak. Okay, we got the chariot. There will be victory here. All right. Or oh, this person's moving on from this connection. Okay, with codependent addiction and heartbreak. They want to call in their soulmate. There's romantic feelings here. They want to move forward. I think they want to court you, visit you, make love to you. Somebody's got it bad when it comes to this passion. I feel a lot of romance again as well. That's cancer energy. Doesn't have to be, okay? Could be somewhere in their chart or your chart. Let's see what else. Nine of Pentacles. So they're coming to visit somebody here that's single. Okay. Nine of Pentacles is single, independent, um, okay on your own. Okay. Focusing on your own garden, tending to your own garden, looking good, smelling good. Um, you know, this is definitely uh, self worth, self care, self love energy. All right. And again, they want a little piece of you wearing that yellow again. Emphasis on the sun, high vibrations, okay, and awaken and clarity. All right, let's see what else. Five of Wands, okay, that's another option here. So perhaps you both went through, like I said earlier, you know, we go through these connections where we break up with people that were low vibe because our vibration was not high. We had to learn in order to grow right so there could be someone else in your energy which is this person coming towards you and there could be somebody that broke your heart in the past all right but I feel like if there is someone in your past they're gonna watch you with this new person okay they still have a, a thing for you as well they're watching somebody's watching this could be this person though but this could be somebody else Okay, let's see. Three of three of ones, more more fire here. Alright. So somebody could have been conflicted as well with the five of ones for a while, going back and forth. What am I gonna do here? You know, they're in a bad situation. They have feelings for Pisces or vice versa. And you know, they were back and forth, back and forth. But finally, somebody's coming here. Three of Wands is receiving what you need, okay? ships coming in all right definitely some distance and travel with the three of wands and the chariot okay so you could live at a distance whether it's a different state hours away in the same state countries away or different sides of the you know of the country it could be either either one of those scenarios okay let's see what else we got here there it is again yeah you're manifesting something new okay so you're a manifester you definitely called in someone new here I feel okay the magician this is air energy uh, mer mercury mercury energy okay well wow. okay somebody's gonna speak up and tell you some truth that's for sure Let's look at the mutual energies here, see what's going on here. And somebody got all the right tools. They know how to touch you in all the right ways here. One more shuffle with that magician energy. Mm -hmm. I want to kiss you all over and over again. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there it is. So, for some of you guys, there was a divorce here. Others of you, it was just a long term relationship. And another group of you, this is what's coming, okay? Is a, a very spiritual connection, but perhaps marriage. This is Taurus energy, okay? Again, there's two women here. He has his hand on someone that is, I feel, divine feminine with these two birds. There are no birds on this side, okay? Um, and he does not have his hand on this person. So they choose you, is what I feel here. 
Two of Swords. Yeah, this is that conflicting energy. This could be, are they gonna, are you gonna accept their offer? Okay, but somebody here still has a little bit of a block, so they're with with the Two of Swords and the Hierophant. Somebody's still learning. They're still growing. Okay, so they could still be in this cycle. Okay, it's not quite done yet, but as you can see, it's gonna be. All right. They could be afraid of rejection. All right, we're gonna see. Six of Cups, somebody from your past. All right, for some of you, I did pick up that there is someone in your past you broke up with, and they're still watching, but they have a block, and um, they're very traditional. Okay, they're not they're not a very open-minded person, but it is a soulmate for some of you. Okay. So this person could be learning or they're just very set in their ways, very traditional. I feel like you're more spiritual. For sure, Pisces is very intuitive and I can see why that would be. And you could have dealt with someone that was uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini here. We also have Water Energy, Taurus, Two of Pentacles. I feel like you have a choice. Okay. There's a lot of energies going on here, so definitely bear with me here, okay? But somebody wants to come see you for sure. There is a wish here. There's a star here, okay? So I feel like somebody's coming. You have the Two of Pentacles with this King of Wands and the Three of Wands. You might have two people coming towards you, okay? Past and completely new but we're gonna see here let's continue to a Pentacles Knight of Pentacles okay so whoever this person is from your past you haven't seen this person in a long time for some of you okay others of you there's someone in your energy that has yet to reveal themselves that you manifested because they're still healing with this four of swords next to it and they're in a karmic situation all right let's talk about the bottom of the deck yeah we definitely have separation with the five of pentacles all right somebody feels like they miss you they're lonely they want to rekindle with this guitar or violin they want to rekindle the romance here and you know and for for others of you or if you're dealing with the same situation this new person in your life they're celibate okay they don't want to sleep with this person I feel like, because they already have feelings for you, I feel like the spark has left the building, honey. That's a cold day if I ever seen one. Mm -mm. Cold as steel. Alright, Pisces, let's get into this reading. What we got going on here? Let's really break it down. We're going to get into my manifest deck. And I will introduce three decks, three new decks of mine today. The link will be in the description box. Let's see what's going on with this masculine energy, Pisces. Two more shuffles, my guys. All right. Let's cut the deck, Pisces. What's going on here? You have all the miracles. I mean, all the miracles. You have all the tools to create miracles. Get ready. Willpower. Golden opportunities. Take the plunge. So definitely someone is healing. They're preparing to leave this karmic and come towards you. Okay? For sure. And the Seven of Swords, it's, the deception is that they know where they want to be and they haven't spoken up about it, okay? is That's what I'm picking up here in this reading. Alright, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I am awakened. Spiritual awakening, awakened to this connection, sees it for what it is. And I did speak of a higher connection with this yellow going on here. Higher vibration. Nine of Cups, 
yeah, I never meant to take this long. I promise I'll make it up to you. Your prayers are about to be answered. Okay, whether some of you are waiting for someone from the past that is awakened, high high vibed, okay. Um, they won't wish fulfillment with you, okay. Or this could be someone entirely new that's just been taking a while to manifest. I mean, it's already manifested, but it's taking a while to come towards you, okay, because of learning, growing, and karmic situations. Let's talk about this King of Wands. Hmm. Told you somebody from the past here wants to come see you. Someone in your circle does not want you to succeed. Envy, lies, not happy for you, gossip, evil eye, cleanse. So this King of Wands in going this way, okay, because I read both directions, is low vibed. This is the other person that's still watching. That's the person that broke your heart. Um, if there's envy, lies, and they're not happy for you, that's a low vibe King of Wands player energy, okay? With the Two of Pentacles right next to it, this person could have had a lot of options. They treated you like an option for some of you, or vice versa. Flip it how it resonates, okay? Others of you, this person, this new person, obviously they're with a karmic. They don't want them to be happy and succeed with you. So they could definitely know that there's a higher connection in this person's um, emotions. They could feel this intuitively because I just don't feel like he's spoken about it. But maybe perhaps somehow she found something out through social media or, or she just intuitively picking it up. Okay. Let's talk about the Four of Swords. Yeah. I stalk your social media, lurking, watching, someone from your past, or secret admirer. Okay. Alright. And that's next to the Four of Swords. So while someone's healing, they're watching you. Alright. While we're resting and we're in quarantine, you know, that's the perfect time to... What else are you going to do? You know, or aside from everything else that you're doing at home, they're going to really analyze the situation they're in and where they want to be. So they're really growing here. Uh, let's talk about the feminine energy here with the chariot moving forward, being single. Because I feel like you left this past person behind a while back. Three more shuffles. Like you're ready to manifest something new is what I'm feeling here. One more shuffle. What's going on? Alright. Let's see. Let's find out. Alright. I've done research on twin flames. So this is a twin flame connection coming at you. Tarot readings, books, and internet with the chariot. So definitely there's a twin flame coming towards you. This is going to be your next romantic relationship. Whether it's someone from your past or someone new. Okay, but I do feel with the magician it's someone new for a lot of you. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone in your past has a mental block. I am not awakened, asleep, mental block, limited mindset, and oblivious. That's the person that broke your heart. They're watching you, I'm telling you. This is the person you don't want to be with. So I feel you have a choice. There's a choice here, there's a choice here, and there's a choice, I feel, here. You're like, I don't want that rose. Because this person was a player. They were a snake. Okay, you have the truth right here on your lap. That sword there. They might choose you energetically, but they didn't choose you in the, you know, in the 3D world, okay? So you could have been very different as far as the way you think, the way you carry yourselves. You were definitely too much for that past person, let me just say, for whoever is dealing with the player from the past. and But it's past, like you guys broke up, like you're not with that person. Let's talk about the Five of Wands. I can't lie to myself anymore. I'm thirsty for you, craving you, missing you, feeding, burning desire. So I feel like that's both people. Okay, you have past and then you have someone 
that is in your energy field. But that past person is very thirsty for you. I feel like they watch your social media or they look at your pictures. Three of Wands. There you go. New cycle. I want to start this new chapter with you. New beginnings. New love. Getting to know you. Rekindle. Some of you, somebody wants to rekindle, but you have someone new. Okay? Because I see it right here. Someone in your circle does not want you to succeed. But you have options. You wished for someone else with the star and the magician. There is wish fulfillment. I never meant to take this long next to wish fulfillment. So your wish, you wished on this a while back. In the beginning, I was feeling that you called in your soulmate. could have been a long time ago. But because it takes time to heal for both of you, especially this person slightly behind you, um, they're doing that right now, healing and then coming towards you. But you got somebody. You always, there's always a lurker, isn't there? Always. Let's talk about the magician. Yep, you're magical. I've never met anyone like you. Magical sorceress healer manifesting your dreams. This is how you know spirits in the building. I mean, the magician with manifesting your dreams. Yeah, you manifested a twin flame. Okay. That's what's going on here. Very good energy. But someone in the past is thirsty. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the mutual energies here and see what's going on. I got to give you what I'm seeing, you know. Two more shuffles, my guides. And this energy has been very prominent uh, for a lot of other signs as well. There are major shifts happening, and this is going to happen for a lot of people, especially those who are raising their vibration. I mean, it's inevitable. God has a plan, darling. That's why there's a, a big group of twin flames getting together, coming together again. Um, let's talk about this energy, Hierophant, divine gift. And I often see, for me, I see the Hierophant as God energy as well. With divine gift, yes, darling. God heard your prayers, for sure. Travel, date, abundance, spoiling, showering you with gifts. Let's make it rain. And with these connections, these high-vibed um, twin flame connections, after all the healing, you guys will have an influx of abundance, okay? You have your own abundance separate, but together, it's, it's this. It's manifestation after manifestation, because it's a higher vibed connection. You guys are open-minded, spiritually connected, and you attract what it is you so desire. Okay? But you're also here to help heal the rest of the world. Okay? And, and you guys will come together and that will be more clear as these connections start coming together. Let's talk about the Two of Swords. I've spoken to my family about you. Friends, strangers, co-workers. There you go. The person, and, and I feel this is both, okay? You have a high vibe person on this side with I'm Awakened and the Wheel of Fortune. I've spoken to my family about you, okay? And then you have the Two of Swords. So I feel there's a blind decision here, but the decision is obvious to me. But then you have I am not awakened with the Nine of Pentacles. So your past person, you know, could be Mr. Pimp, player, I'm single vibe type of person. Meanwhile, I don't know if they're in a relationship, but they could be. So, Or they could be recently single, or they're coming to you when they're single. Thinking that they got it, like they have you in, in, you know, in the bag like that, and they could just come back out of the blue after you've already healed and raised your vibration. Um... And you're going to be like, uh-uh, because you're in your Nine of Pentacles energy. You're in high vibe energy. All right. So let's talk about the, what do we got here? Six of Cups. Yep. You have a karmic from your past. The karmic has looked at your social media page. Spying, jealous, hating, tarot readings, emulating. And look at this. 
definitely spying on your social media or looking at your pictures. She, that's what she looks like she's doing. Now for some of you, when you get together with your twin flame, that's what she's going to be doing. Watching you guys be together. Sad. Crying over here, crying over here. If you see that. Okay. And for others of you, this is the past person that is still thirsty for you. We do have the five of wands here. People just all over the place, dipping their nose where they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Yep. The way, of the way of the world, though. All right, two of pentacles. <laughs> I can't make this up. It, 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 this, this energy keeps coming up a lot. Karmic situationship. Insecurities, jealousy, manipulative, doesn't want to let go, cock block. Okay? Now this one sits next to the king of wands with someone in your circle does not want you to succeed. So, like I said, you are both. The twin flame connection is, you guys are both dealing with a karmic. But one is dealing with it right now. And the other one, the feminine energy, has already dealt with that. Okay. But they still are looking. People are just going to be just hating on your connection because it's so high vibed. You guys are going to be so in love, you know. Let's talk about this Knight of Pentacles. Yep, there you go. I know you're my twin flame. I feel you in the core of my soul. I feel your presence when I fall asleep at night. Telepathic communications. And this is the person that is coming into your life. So you have a secret admirer or this is someone you know is your twin flame. Someone that is a good person. Though this, this twin flame is high vibed. Okay. It, this, the twin flame is not this king of wands low energy. It's the high vibed king of wands. So you could have dealt with uh, two fire signs. Or you know it's, it's just they're both passionate over you. That's what's been taking so long. Because they're in a karmic situation. And they've been healing with the four swords. But they see you as a magical sorceress, healer, manifesting your dreams. So you're pulling this person in and you are connected. Alright? You're calling them in. You're pulling them in. A lot of magnetism here. Beautiful. I love it. These karmics, you know, they're just going to, like. I think, what was it that I mentioned it? I don't remember, but in one of the reasons... I think it was Virgo. Um, so you could also be dealing with a Virgo. I would check that out. Or, and Leo as well. Um, but what I was saying is that, you know, these karmics should get together. I mean, seriously. Instead of trying to be, you know, pretty much a speed bump in between both of you. But, you know, unfortunately, the setback is the learning and healing at the end of the day. Okay. And they are a part of that growth. So, all right, let's look at the bottom of the deck here. This, I just spoke about this. I can't make this up. This magnetism is animalistic. I'd like to do you into next week, middle of the night sex. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Well, and speaking of doing you into next week, we're going to get into my other deck. Let's get it. I told you I was get gonna talk about sex here. Let's see what this chemistry is gonna be like. Okay, with your twin flame. I I think you already know what it's like with your ex or whoever this is that is still in your energy. If not, well, missed opportunity for them. They're just gonna be a stray dog dreaming with steak. Mm -hmm. Cause you're you're a a sirloin right now sizzling hot okay so let's see with uh, your twin flame that stalks your social media the one that's crushing on you oh by the way this is my um, one of my new decks but I reordered it because I changed um, something in the front I didn't the name is you know a little bit different and I added some messages so this is my 
um, shower hour indecent proposals deck and it's explicit okay so for your twin flame that is looking at you from a distance foreplay is his specialty darling or her specialty for gentlemen here okay because it goes both ways flip how it resonates very sexy so this person is definitely I said with those with the magician he's gonna know how to touch you just right sexy let's see what else for him okay I didn't like the way that came out so let's try that again for your twin flame what's going on I see this. all right Ooh. so he likes to bite your neck I like that very sexual person very sensual too it, it's like a gentle aggression you know very very sexy let's get one more there what what are the skills that this guy has? Let's see. What does he want to do to you? And you guys might have a lot of shower sex. Who knows? Yeah, I can't make this up. <laughs> Slow and aggressive. There it is. Slow and aggressive. See, spirit, spirit heard me. They know. So this person foreplay is a specialty, slow and aggressive, neck biter. I mean, yum. Damn. This person knows what he's doing. But I have a feeling you do too, okay? With the magical sorceress healer. You got them healing hands. You guys are just gonna be all like the fireworks. Just I mean, good lord. So let's see what else we got here. Let's see what this, because we have, I can't lie to myself anymore, I'm thirsty for you, but I feel like it's both of them. But, because it's next to the past, let's see. This person going to be angry when he sees you with someone else, let me tell you that much. Just can't shake you, Pisces. Yep, you will be the death of me. Uncontrollable passion. Yep. And you will be the death of this person. Not literally, but because they're not going to... I don't think they're ever going to be able to shake you. Okay. Never. Never, ever, ever. So let's see what your sex is going to be like with this magician energy and the magical sorceress healer here. A lot of magic here. Ooh, so he's a neck biter and you're a lip biter, huh? Nice. You guys could both embody these qualities too because you're twin flames. He could just like to bite his lips or you like to bite your lips. I fear I will have no control of myself around you. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to be hot. Steamy. Hot and steamy. Ooh, Pisces. Yeah, look at this. Bottom of the deck. Love mixed with a fiery passion. The perfect elixir. Ooh. Sexy. Very, very sexy. Okay, Pisces. Now, I'm going to use another deck here real quick. My other new deck which will be in the description box below it's called the one true love messages okay it's a uh, it's a good uh, thickness um, but very small but powerful okay it packs a punch and it's all about the one and love messages so we're gonna get into what this twin flame of yours is the thinking and vice versa you know what the feminine energy is whether it's female or male because we want to give the men out there as well as the feminines the females out there okay some messages so let's see what your twin flame has to say with I stalk your social media
Your eyes tell me everything I need to know. So, you know, the eyes are the gateways to the soul, right? So even if they're watching you on social media, if you have, you know, like a profile picture or you have a lot of um, selfies, you know, front face, they could be looking in your eyes and they could just see something in you that they just don't see in someone else. Um, but for some of you, of course, this is someone that uh, you were with in the past and um, you felt that you both felt this connection, but you didn't know what it was back then. You know, it took a lot of healing, a lot of growth for you two to come back together. OK, but for some of you, this is brand new with the magician and calling in your soulmate. OK, but you could be calling back your past twin flame. OK, let's get one more there. I am in love with the way you carry yourself and that fell on the nine of Pentacles meaning you are confident okay and they see you as someone that is independent you have a lot of light you emanate a lot of light so that is good they see you in a high vibration okay and <laughs> like I said you are my light, a spark of an eternal flame, love at first sight. So if this is someone new, when you guys meet, the eyes say it all, darling. There will be no mistake in who your twin flame is. No mistakes. Beautiful energy. Now let's see what your thoughts are here. Whether when you meet this person or your thoughts now for the feminine energy with the uh, magician and the you, you are magical I've been crushing on you for some time now so feminine energy could could be crushing on someone that perhaps you don't know is your twin flame someone you've never been with someone that was your friend in the past or someone that you're crushing on online and maybe you're you're wondering if that's your twin flame well I know this is general. I would definitely get a personal reading to clarify your situation. Um, I don't do personals at this time, but um, for whoever's resonating with this reading, definitely whoever you're crushing on, they're crushing on you too. And you guys are twin flame connection here. Okay. For some of you, it's just you're missing someone from your past that perhaps you guys didn't get to um, connect in a deeper way but you will it's coming together okay let's get one more there I love your strength your inner strength and confidence so what he likes about you you like about them okay or this is their energy okay whether it's him her take it as it resonates okay and let's talk about this new cycle coming in with the three of wands both of you high vibes with the two butterflies a lot of healing energy between you most definitely okay let's see what's going on here I think about our future embrace all the time so definitely in the future this will come together okay and I feel like that's both of you you seduce me with your stare so a lot of emphasis on the eyes okay the way you guys look at each other when you come in together three of wands okay beautiful connection I mean gorgeous bottom of the deck star-crossed lovers beautiful energy Pisces oh I love this it's gorgeous now I'm going to get into my one of my, my other decks it's talents careers and hobbies to mini deck but it's quite thick as you can see here okay 
Of course, it doesn't have every career, hobby, and talent in the book, because if not, I wouldn't be able to shuffle, right? Um, this will be in the description box. And this is more of confirmation, um, further confirmation as to who this is. For some of you out there, you know, you might resonate, that are resonating, or you're wondering if this is the person. Let's see what your twin flame does for a living. Or what is his talent, possible career. Let's see. So we have lifeguard. Now, not every message is specific all the time. This could just mean he is your lifeguard. Okay. He's your saving grace. Now for some of you, yes, he could be a lifeguard or he was a lifeguard in his younger years or, or you know, in the past, you know, perhaps. if He doesn't have to be an older person, but that maybe that's something he wanted to be in the past. We'll see. Let's get a few more. Magician, magic tricks, sorceress. <laughs> so for some of you, he likes to do magic tricks. But for some of you, I mean, like I said, he's good with his hands. Definitely, this person knows how to manifest. Okay. And he is well manifested, I feel. One more. Okay. And we have flute. <laughs> and that can mean anything too. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe he plays the flute or that's something, that's an instrument he always wanted to play. All right. And let's get to the feminine energy for the gentleman and see or whoever's resonating here what this person does. Nine of Pentacles. have gambler okay so maybe you just like to take gambles in life in general but maybe perhaps some of you like to maybe play the lotto or gamble a little we have piano maybe you'd like to take a gamble and learning how to play the piano or you play the piano okay some of you are pianists let's get one more okay we got two traveler so you like to travel perhaps or you will be traveling in the in the future but I did talk about travel here so this person could be the person that plays the piano and wants to come see you flip it how it resonates okay and it's gonna be different for everybody and we have technology okay and technology that can mean anything okay you can be a computer tech you could just be into um, doing videos for either YouTube or on Instagram, on TikTok, you know, this, this could mean anything, okay? So take that as it resonates, guys. All right, Pisces, that's what I got for you guys. And then bottom of the deck, we have spiritual teacher. So a lot of you, this is what you're going to become or you, you know, or you are a spiritual teacher. Um, so that's what I got for you guys let me know in the comments if you resonate of course not everyone's gonna resonate with that but very good reading a lot of a lot of passion here okay this guy both of you I feel have healing hands and all the right moves and together I mean fireworks definitely okay Love you, Pisces. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next month. I'll be trying to do the uh, Zodiac signs again, possibly before the middle of May. Um, and, um, of course, I do general readings in between, and you guys can resonate with those as well. And I will see you guys again soon, all right? Talk to you. Bye-bye.